Still to come, the male factor, our new techniques to help the many men in need of assistance to help their wives achieve pregnancy. We'll also introduce you to an older woman we assisted in getting pregnant and discuss how many women are opting to have children later in life. But first, my colleague, Dr. Florence Hightower, has the story of Anna Williams. Out of tragedy has come hope. This is the story of a young couple, very much in love, whose honeymoon turned tragic. Anna and Troy had a storybook wedding. They were starting off life together and looking forward to starting a family in the future. It was, it's, it was a happy day, a good day. This was on the porch, the deck. We had just walked up there and um, the people that were taking uh, the pictures, you know, they called us, they, they asked us to get together and smile and so we turned around and smiled. And Troy had survived a form of childhood cancer and had been cancer free for many years. But on the honeymoon, he began to experience pain in his rib cage. It turns out that Troy's cancer had returned and he had developed a sizable tumor in his chest. The prognosis was not favorable, and as Troy's health quickly deteriorated, Anna was forced to think about life without Troy. Well, that pain kept on persisting, and what it was is he had a tumor growing out of his rib. And that's what it was, and that's what he felt. The couple made the decision to collect Troy's sperm and immediately began preparation for Anna to have in vitro fertilization. We learned the radiation treatments Troy had received as a child had impacted the quality of the sperm he was able to produce. Anna had two in vitro procedures that were unsuccessful. She then began to investigate donor sperm as an option. Just for you to go through and, and you try to match up um, as close to your own uh, physical appearance, I guess, as possible and um, whether they're right-handed or left-handed and what activities and um, languages or occupations and just everything that you can possibly think of, you know, it's pretty much listed in, in you know, and they, they tell you, you know, that each donor is, you know, pretty much, um, you know, uh, they're gone through with a very fine tooth comb, you know, to make sure that every, that their health and their history and everything is intact and is safe. Donor sperm is a sophisticated process where the parents are able to view a catalog of information about highly screened donors. Parents utilize this extensive information to find the best match. Anna still desired to have Troy's child, and she decided to go through a third in vitro treatment. This time, a success. I know it made his day, if not his whole, the rest of the month for him. Um, I mean, because that was something like that, that we had put a lot of time and effort in, in working to trying, trying to, to have a baby together and then I think in his mind knowing how sick that he, that he was and how he felt if something was to happen that everything would be okay because he would be leaving everybody with something you know so I think he was pretty happy about that By the time Anna was going in for her third in vitro process, Troy had been permanently hospitalized as his health continued to decline. He was unable to accompany her to our office, but eagerly waited to get news. He had promised Anna that he would not succumb to the cancer until he had seen the child. Several weeks after the successful third in vitro fertilization, Anna was able to bring a picture from an ultrasound that clearly showed the baby developing inside of her. He was smart and I mean he was just um, one of those people really that could walk into a room that would really light it up, you know. I mean, uh, she, uh, I mean I have videos but I mean in pictures but those are just glimpses of the person he was. 
uh, just how special and strong and wonderful and hardworking and dependable he was. I mean, he was just, he was just uh, a very good guy, <laughs> a really good guy, the perfect guy, really, in my eyes anyway. <laughs> he was perfect. Now Anna makes plans for a future with a new baby girl, but without her husband. The nursery is being readied, and Anna had a small addition built on her home to have a little more room for the child. She moves all the time. Right now she's sleeping, she's being good. <laughs> but normally she's been, you know, she wants to crawl up underneath my ribs or something, or she wants to stretch out, or... I'm just not a real big person. I don't have a lot of room for her to stretch out, you know, she's squishing me. <laughs> we relish every successful pregnancy we achieve. It was an honor for us to assist her in achieving something positive in the midst of the tragic loss of her husband. All of us at Advanced Fertility look forward to the birth of her daughter. I think it'll be exciting. You know, I, th I think that there'll be you know, really happy to see me and see how they helped me, you know, and and Troy and, you know, see, see the final result of all that hard work that we did, you know.